What transforms a serene hike into an unsolvable mystery? Imagine venturing into lush, cloud-wreathed forests never to return. What chilling tale lies hidden within the silent trees? In the heart of Panama's majestic landscapes, two young Dutch women, Chris Kremers and Lisson Froon, embarked on a journey brimming with adventure and aspirations. Close friends with a zest for life, they ventured into the El Pianista Trail, a path that promised beauty but harbored an enigma as dense as the forest itself. Their disappearance sparked a global intrigue, weaving a story where nature's breathtaking beauty meets a mysterious, unsettling silence. What began as a day hike evolved into a baffling puzzle, intertwining hope, despair, and the relentless pursuit of truth in the face of the unknown. Join us as we unravel the tale of Chris and Lizanne, two souls whose journey took a turn into the abyss, leaving behind a trail of questions that echo through the wilderness. Now, let's delve into their story, piecing together the fragments of a day that started in the light of high spirits and ended in the shadows of mystery. Who were Chris Kremers and Lisanne Froon? Chris Kremers and Lisanne Froon, hailing from Amersfoort in the Netherlands, were more than just friends. They were kindred spirits with a shared zest for life and a deep bond forged through their common interests. Chris, at 21, was known for her creativity and responsibility. A fresh graduate in cultural social education, her passion for art and community service radiating through her endeavors. Lisanne, 22 embodied optimism and intelligence, her academic achievements in applied psychology, paralleling her passion for volleyball, reflecting her dynamic and aspiring nature. The allure of Panama beckoned them not just as tourists, but as adventurers eager to immerse themselves in a new culture, contribute to local communities, and explore the lush landscapes. Their journey, planned as a celebration of graduation and an exploration of life's possibilities, was to be a blend of adventure, learning, and volunteer work, particularly with local children, enriching their lives as much as their own. This trip promised to be the culmination of months of preparation, embodying their dreams, aspirations, and the spirit of exploration that defined them both. The disappearance. The fateful morning of April 1, 2014, dawned clear and promising as Chris and Lizen set out for an adventure on the El Pianista Trail, a path winding through the lush cloud forests near Bokwit, Panama. With spirits high and backpacks loaded, they embarked on a hike meant to immerse them in the breathtaking natural beauty of their surroundings. The trail, known for its panoramic views and challenging terrain, was to be a highlight of their Panamanian odyssey. However, as hours turned into days, the absence of any sign from the duo transformed excitement into concern. Their last known communication, a serene photo posted on social media, belied the harrowing turn of events that would unfold. The alarm was raised when they failed to return from their hike, sparking an extensive search that would captivate and concern a global community. Families, local authorities, and international teams converged on the dense forests of Panama, combing the rugged terrain for any trace of the missing women. The involvement of dog units, aerial searches, and local guides underscored the urgency and scale of the efforts. As days turned into weeks, the initial hope for a rescue became a grim race against time. The community's response, a blend of solidarity and determination, reflected the universal desire to unravel the mystery of their disappearance and bring closure to their anxious families. The Mysterious Clues The silence of the jungle was pierced by a discovery that reignited the flickering embers of hope and deepened the mystery Lizanne Froon's backpack, found serenely by a riverbank, untouched by the jungle's harsh embrace. Inside, the belongings were startlingly ordinary yet profoundly unsettling, their phones, sunglasses, cash, and Froon's passport. But it was the phone's records that sent shivers down the spine of the search teams. Calls to emergency numbers made just hours into their hike, unanswered and desperate, painted a harrowing picture of their plight. But the most chilling discovery was yet to come. 90 flash photos taken in the dead of night, far from the beaten path, their purpose unknown, their content bewildering. 
Some were mundane, yet others were cryptic, markers made of twigs and rocks, the back of Chris's head illuminated by a flash, a landscape swallowed by darkness. These images, a silent screen for help, a digital breadcrumb trail, offered no solace, only questions. What were they trying to communicate? What unseen eyes watched them in the dark? The mystery of these night photos remains a haunting testament to their fight for survival in the enveloping shadows of the jungle. Discovery of Remains As the relentless search continued, a grim discovery shifted the narrative from hope of rescue to somber realization. Along the banks of the Culebra River, the undeniable evidence of the tragedy was uncovered. Chris Kremer's denim shorts found atop a rock raised haunting questions. Were they placed there deliberately, or were they a marker of distress? The ambiguity deepened as more remains were discovered a boot with a foot inside, and soon after, scattered bones along the river bank, a silent testament to the dire fate of the two friends. The recovery was painstaking, each fragment bringing a heavy mix of closure and heartache. DNA tests confirmed the unthinkable. The remains belonged to Chris and Lisan. The bones told a perplexing story. Some still had skin, while others appeared bleached, sparking debates among forensic experts. The lack of definitive marks on the bones left the door open to endless speculation were their deaths accidental or was something more sinister at play. This somber chapter added a profound depth to the mystery, leaving more questions than answers and haunting all who have followed their story. The Theories and Aftermath In the wake of the discovery, theories abound. Was it a tragic misstep in unfamiliar terrain, or did external forces play a role in their demise? Experts and armchair detectives alike have delved into the myriad possibilities, from getting lost and succumbing to the elements, to foul play, or even a deliberate act. Yet, without conclusive evidence, the truth remains as elusive as the shifting mists of the Panamanian jungle. The ripple effects of Chris and Lizanne's story have been profound. Their families endure a heartbreak that is both personal and public, grappling with loss while navigating a sea of speculation. The local community, once a backdrop to a peaceful journey, now bears the weight of this tragedy, their home forever marked by this tale. And among adventurers worldwide, the story serves as a somber reminder of the unpredictable nature of exploration, igniting conversations about safety, preparedness, and respect for the unknown. Conclusion as we conclude this journey into the unknown, the mystery of Chris Kremers and Lisan Froon remains, a narrative punctuated with more questions than answers. Their story, a blend of adventure, mystery, and tragedy, continues to captivate and caution, a poignant reminder of life's fragility and the impermanence of our footprints. We invite you to reflect on their memory, engage with their story, and honor their spirit of adventure by approaching the unknown with respect, curiosity, and an acute awareness of the risks that come with exploring the edges of our world. Their legacy, etched into the heart of the Panamanian jungle, remains a testament to the enduring human spirit's quest for discovery and understanding.